everybody. So this game here was inspired by one of my enemies. Subscribers, Russ, the chosen one, 0099. Go check out his channel. If you're watching this video here, then I'm sure it's something on his channel that you will actually find interesting. This one's for you, Russ, for being a supporter. A CD, these Vikings had things rolling in 20 A visible a supporter. Record, new head coach, an obvious, an genuine offense, subscriber. But it all came crashing down in Let me try to take down these Vikings. Exit. Let's go. And that really was because of the defensive side of the ball. They had a terrific record. Would they win 11 games by one score or less? An NFL record? Got to get strong on the defensive side in order to get deeper into the playoffs. And meanwhile, the Titans last year, they were one of those strange statistical anomalies, CD. When you look at their defense, they were the best in football, number one overall against the run, but worst in the league, number 32 against the pass. And part of the reason they were number one against the run, the struggles they had slowing people down through the air. So people threw it and threw it and threw it and had great success. And a team that should have been in the playoffs last year somehow managed to miss it. The NFL's second leading rusher in 2022. Here's Derrick Henry. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Back to throw. It's Levis. He's got it complete. Derrick Henry. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Levis to throw it. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Levis now on second down. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, Henry. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take him the distance. But in short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Second down, here's Levis. Wesco, the tight end, making the catch. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Levis on third down. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only, Charles, in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And, partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And oh, no. Oh, no. 
seven yard line. Time will tell if that's an interception that rattles the rookie here. First drive on the road. And you know the discussion going into the game? Centered on, okay, let's get out nice and easy. Take care of the football on the road. You're a youngster. Let's not make mistakes early. But now the conversation will shift to, okay, put it behind you. Move on. Long way to go in this one. So here come the Vikings as they get set for their first drive. They'll be led out by a seventh-year pro and a literal rocket scientist. Here's Joshua Dobbs. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yardage with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100-plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now we've got a third and four. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Dobbs. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. But they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. And here's Ryan right now. Back deep is Kyle Phillips. This is taken at the 15. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And they will take over first and 10. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. The ball on the 32. It's second and two. Again, it's Henry. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy. I need to get Henry going. If I can get Henry going, the game is over. I can make, I can control the game. Oh! Space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game. Once that X factor is activated, it's a wrap. Set the edge. <laughs> so from the 37, here's a second down and nine. Levis out of the shotgun now. He finds Hopkins complete. Call it a gain of six on the play. And this will wind up being a third and three. Go, 
Levis. Oh my good man. Nah, don't put that on him. That's me. That's my shit. I like that kind of thing. It's like a big, strong Lamar. That's on me. not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. Off the play fake. Here's Dobbs. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. Into the hands of the rookie, Jordan Addison. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Osborne motions left. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. To throw is Dobbs. And this is going to be incomplete. Fourth down now as the Titans defense holds up in coverage. Yo. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to the Let me check this quarterback's right. Because this dude is good. A 70, but that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing with my sliders and settings. Buddy is bowling just like the real life counterpart. Or at least has the potential. Because the game ain't over. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. From the 22, here's second and eight. Inside handoff, Henry. And not much doing there, maybe a yard up to the 23. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Running from the gun with Henry. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. 
plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs or putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Now on fourth down, here's Ryan Stonehouse to punt for Tennessee. Back deep, Brandon Powell. Yeah, that's a 48-yard punt with a coverage holding him to three on the return. And the Vikings will take over here first and ten. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Madison. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's saying You made me go backwards. I'm going to make you go backwards. Extra tight ends, extra That's fair and square. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. On second down, Dobbs. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Pass complete to Addison. So give, give me that. The give me the ball back. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. This is taken at about the 14. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punch. Russ. I need you to wake your ass up. Come and watch this good footage. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And really, they're pretty fortunate right now to only be down three to nothing following two turnovers. They've got it now first and ten. They begin with Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. <laughs>